Hey gamer, last week I uploaded this video where I played Sunless a hundred different times. And if I win all of them, I get $10,000. But if he even gets one win, he gets $10,000. So watch that if you haven't already because there are gonna be spoilers in this video, but Sunless actually recorded his own perspective and made a documentary of the 101v1 challenge as well. So this is my first time ever watching his side of the video and I normally don't do too many reaction videos, but this was such a big event and we both put in hundreds of hours of work just on this video. So let's get straight into it. I feel like I'm the type of guy to like, like pause it way too much and it's not let it play out and everyone's gonna be like dude just play the freaking video so i'm gonna try not to be that guy i just uploaded the video of my perspective some of this comes from a, a background not in like gaming and content creation but like actual professional video production that was his job before rocket league so i'm curious to see if like I don't know, I, I, I just wanna see like how he edits it and uh, what storylines he goes with and what um, editing techniques he uses. Cause you know, you can always learn, you can always learn. And yeah, there's the guy telling me to play the MF video. So uh, that means I need to play the video probably. So a couple weeks ago, I made a bet. It was against my biggest rival, Musty. He said that if we played 100 1v1 games, I wouldn't be able to beat him once. Now, I don't consider That's myself crazy. to be a high-level Rocket League player. I had such a similar a edit absurd. to him, and a similar 100 script. games? Surely even I could beat Musty if I had 100 tries. I mean, come on. On the other hand, Musty has consistently hit SSL in the 1v1 playlist, while the highest I've ever gotten in ones is Grand Champ like three years ago. These days, not so much. Musty was a top 100 player back in the day and a sub for NRG, earning him an RLCS title. And yes, me, sir. well, not so much. <laughs> kind of big deal. I'll come out, I'll admit it. Here I am, C2. So you could say this matchup was not in my favor. <laughs> yeah, Musty was confident he could beat me 100 times in a row. So confident that he made a bet with me. $10,000 if I could win just one game. One game. Dude, I, I, I don't know what, how do you get edits like this? In high pressure mode, in front of a live audience. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything. We would 1v1 100 times over the course of 10 days. That's wild. 10 games every day. This would actually These edits are insane. Me. If we played a hundred games in a row in one super long day, he would get so much. Just for context, yeah, like this edit. One hundred times. Probably took like ten hours. Like I, I'm pretty sure. Over the course of. Does he have to re-render re it over and over and over again? Like that's that's wild. Ten games every day. This would actually work against me. If we played a hundred games in a row in one super long day, he would get so mind-numbingly tired, I could probably pull him down to my level pretty quickly. But with the challenge spread out over many days, he'd have time to refocus and make adjustments yeah. each day as I became more and That's more- That's why we did it uh, over a hundred. That's, oh. That's why we did it over 10 days, because I knew for a fact I would lose if we did all hundred in one day. Like that would be- just... Uh, by a game like 30, I'd be just drained, you know. And drew near, the pressure of the situation began to sink in for both me and Musty. From my perspective, it would be ridiculous if I wasn't able to win once in a hundred tries, no matter who I played. So the expectation I put on myself was to so do I something- So I think it looks like he has a lot more voiceover SSL, than I have. Not just any SSL, but my longtime rival and inventor of the Musty flick himself. It was like the ultimate final boss for me. I didn't <laughs> say it at the time, but in my head, this was kind of a do or die situation. If I wasn't able to beat Musty, once in a hundred tries, what was going to be the point of even keeping my YouTube channel? <laughs> it might sound ridiculous, but retirement was definitely on my mind. If I Dude, so this made this seem like this. a documentary I documentary. Pressure on myself, but I did. Yeah, so I don't know how he gets like these animations and edits. It's sick. From his perspective, he'd have to stay focused and motivated to continuously thrash a lower level player 10 days in a row. If he slipped up just once. So this is all like one big caught. intro. Almost as big of an ego blow as me failing to win a single game. The challenge was perfectly designed to put the maximum amount of pressure and expectation on both of us at the same time. But one of us would have to lose. This would turn out to be by far the most difficult <laughs> thing I've ever done in Rocket League. This is like a, no such a good intro. Props to Sunlight. The adversity and monotony of 100 1v1s would get to me over the 10 days, especially as my losses piled up. The only thing I did know was I wouldn't come out of it the same. Here's how I nearly lost my mind by 1v1ing Musty 100 times. Dang, dude. God, why is Sunless so good, bro? I don't know if he has an editor or not, but he's capable of doing like all this stuff himself. Let's just talk about that intro for a second, bro. Normally, like a three minute intro is like, nah, bro. Like, that's way too long. But that didn't feel like an intro. That felt like a trailer. Like, I'm excited to watch this, bro. Holy crap. Day one. Day one was fun. With 100 chances for success in front of me, I felt very little pressure. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm not. All I have to do is not lose game one. Each day, we played the first game in a Discord call together, then would play the middle eight games without comms. Then we would end the day with comms in the final game. Nothing to be nervous about. 
Nice. I'm not nervous at all, actually. Uh, I feel so <laughs> slow. I feel like I'm, my car is made of concrete. It's funny because I, I don't okay. know like a lot of these clips, like okay. how he's reacting. You know, Game one so might be chalked. So I'll just forfeit. I bought a, like a big whiteboard for this. Uh, why? I'm, like, to put all the results there. I'm taking notes uh, on your gameplay. I'm taking this serious, bro. Like, I, no, I, it's not. I actually have a whiteboard. Go! I'm gonna erase Let's everything go! now. It's Let's still up. Honestly, the floodgates are about to open. I might do a little. Right, I, was, I, I, I might do a fake kickoff here. Okay, okay. Oh, look, oh at, God. look at that touch. That's a good, that's a good. Business. Look at that touch. Oh, three goal game, game one. I might go for a little clip here. Just Sorry, what was that? Oh, dude. We had like the exact same edit. That's yeah, wild. <laughs> you don't want to. We had the exact same edit. That's down. so sick. So in this situation, down Great seven sink alike, man. seconds left. Um, yeah, I want to just go next. The first five games went as expected. Die. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't like this. He's gonna. I don't know what he's doing actually. <laughs> what happened in game six? I was not prepared for. Me neither, man. Is this my first lead? First lead, first ever lead. He's scared, he's scared. He's scared, he's getting nervous. Really make him think. Top corner, baby, three goal lead. happening. I just had to play super safe and not choke. Nice going on here. That'll be yeah, a I great remember. philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then I choked away the lead, but it wasn't over yet. Because a lot of these clips, we weren't in comps, so like, I, I don't know what he's saying. This is, I, this is like my first time seeing a lot of this, too. Wow. Like, I know what's going to happen, but I don't know what's going to happen, if that makes sense. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 50. Nice. <laughs> I'm hyping myself up. Let's go, Musty. You got this. Where is he? I don't like this. He got in my blind spot. Should have oh checked your rearview mirrors, bud. I feel really good that that happened game six. Honestly, W for me. I went on to lose the rest of the games that day, but I couldn't help but feel incredibly optimistic knowing I'd come so close to winning on the first day. I never thought I would return to streaming and lose 10 games in a row and be like, yeah, great stream. <laughs> Uh, Day two was a nightmare. I decided to have some fun with Musty and use a different wacky car every single game that day. That's so funny. We have like such a game. similar no, script. I made 10 presets. What I didn't account for is how triggering it is to get absolutely destroyed <laughs> while driving a stupid green potato <laughs> around the field. I guess uh, if I do beat you in a weird car I've never used, I mean, that'll be a special car. But by using a different hitbox almost every game, I just made it more and more difficult on myself. That's true. That's Robbed. true. Tilted out of my mind, I only scored six goals in the first nine games of the day while musty completely unbothered by my antics scored 47 oh, goals wait 47 i didn't even know that i i, I scripted it and i was like oh we only averaged one goal a game i scored 47 goals on three different occasions oh my By god the the day i had lost 20 games in a row for the event let's go musty you got this not have fun anymore oh sunless you're talking about no goal what uh what was that there man? but little did i know it was about to get a whole lot worse we got the by the way, I I keep ads on because I, I believe as a YouTuber, like how I make my money is through ads. So it feels weird to like turn it off. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's kind of hypocritical. Day three felt like two separate days. On the first half of day three, I got absolutely doo-dooed on. The score lines well, were not close. It's kind of the whole this day. This partly because I decided to stop forfeiting no, matches completely. Touch. I wanted to try to tire Musty out, or at least make him bored. Okay, so he was That's trying all. to do that. He was trying to do that. I could tell like he was doing something weird on, on day three. I, I was right about that, but he also I couldn't imagine was using like the, the gamer the grip or whatever it is. And over against a lower ranked player without subconsciously easing up after a while. But Musty was completely locked in and refused to let my tactics get in the way. That is backfiring incredibly because he's just using it like free play. Play, and he's just getting better and better and better. He doesn't even feel like the most. I, I knew he was days. doing that. He feels like three times better than normal. <laughs> then finally, in game 29, I had a chance to strike. Wait, I don't remember anything really happening on this day. Maybe I missed it. It's the one. This is the one. I'm winning this game. Because I, I didn't make 29 a I'm big game, game in my video. I made it 6, 36. <laughs> he's got a score. No, game 6, 38, 46. Oh, of course it bounces right there. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> I forgot to include that. Did you just give me a goal? So I was like trolling. It's hard not to troll on, on accident. It's so hard to try hard against someone you know you're better than. I was like, I just like, it's so easy to just kind of mess around and like go for clips and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't get there. Oh, wow. I didn't think I'd just no. go that. 
got too cocky. Okay, one goal game. One goal game. I made it interesting. I, was I, I didn't know that was one goal. I completely missed game 29. With a very positive mindset I think it ended not a one goal game. I put up huge losses in multiple games in a row, but as long as I stayed patient and didn't get tilted, I could beat Musty later in the day. As he I guarantee you he's going to be like, but I did end up getting really tilted or something. Through bored of destroying me. I felt like if I stayed positive, I could get a win the very next day. Yes. And I was wrong about that. Told you. I knew it. I'm so smart. Positive thinking at the end of day three. Day four was a disaster. <laughs> Looking back, I can see that my speed of play was definitely picking up a bit, but I was still getting beat by. Yeah, I did notice on day so four his moment, kickoffs getting were getting a lot, discouraged. lot better. I don't know if you guys have ever lost at anything 36 times in a row, so allow me to let you know how it feels. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it's a mental game. Oh, I love to play your best, You have to have the proper mindset. So by this point, I started to realize the biggest hurdle I would shot. have to overcome was my own mind. Mind. Because on day four, I was losing on the field and I was losing in my head. The crazy part is I actually had a very close game in game 38. But at that yeah. point, I was so down on I'm... myself and so tilted wow. that I didn't even recognize how well I had played. Yeah, and, and I made that game like a huge, like impactful game in my video because it really was. But Sonos was in his own head too much. That was bad. I was he could have so beat me there probably. The emotion of losing so much that I wasn't able to see the positives. I had now lost 40 games in a row and the pressure was getting intense. I began I began to regret my choice to do this event on a level that I feel like I can't even really express to you guys. Yeah, because oh in this video, like this is nine nine minutes, 20 seconds, right? But in the actual grand scheme of things, this is like six I hours straight of playing. Player, but this can be my, my tactical timeout. Why like there, there's no way to really to fully understand how I would feel like a exhausted we are. If I didn't beat a player that was much better than me, it was completely unrealistic expectations that I'd set for myself. And yet I felt like if I didn't beat Musty in this event at least once, I might have to just retire from YouTube. Here's this tactical people break. People on Twitter say things like, oh, surely he gets a win. How could he not get a win against Musty? Is he throwing for content? I tried to tune it out, but the truth is the voice in my head was way more critical than anything I read online. I wanted to quit. Wow, that's deep. I felt like I was at my lowest point, but actually I wasn't. My lowest point was yet to come. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for day five. I had lost 40 games in a row, yet I came into that day with a positive outlook. Don't miss oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't miss those. I knew I still had 60 games to play, and as long as I worked on my mentality, I could do it. I made sure to get plenty of sleep each night of the challenge to ward off the pressure and stress I was feeling just from losing so many one games over and over and over on stream. That Bro, day, I remember I had more close <sighs> games than any other day so far. I was in like a full the repetition routine. Of Musty's high level attacks were finally teaching me to be a better defender. I was, I was like working out, getting eight hours better. of sleep. I still lost every Waking game, up early. Day, but this time it was different. I was starting to become a threat to Musty. He I was. felt myself getting stronger. He was. I'm letting the epic music flow through me. I need good vibes today. These six began with the very. By the way, I want to I want to tell you guys something. On on day uh here, let me go to my Twitter DMs real quick. One sec, one sec. There's this guy, Flow State GG. I don't know if we met him or not, but he's a RLCS mental performance coach. I think he did stuff with like Arsenal Slater, like with the old Space Station squad. On day like three or four, I DM'd him. I was like, bro, on day five, I want to do an interview with you. And like, cause this guy actually helps like pro players' mentality and stuff. So I DM'd him. I was like, hey, bro. Let's talk soon. Need a little segment for a video. At the halfway point of the video, I need you to give me all the mental sauce. He gets back with me five days later. I swear if I had help from this guy, this this video would be completely different, bro. The six began with a very close game. Musty came into this day kind of cold, but unfortunately, I was unable to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, GG, GG. Dang, one goal game off the very first game, bro. After going down by a lot in game 52, I decided to have some fun instead of forfeiting. So I minimized the game and began watching clickbait NBA content without explanation. This definitely confused Musty. It did. It also put me in a good mood. Oh, what's up, Musty in the chat? Are you still playing? I'm watching some YouTube. However, once again, I was my so confused. <laughs> I think I made him mad with the trolling. Like, he is absolutely flying like his life is going <laughs> I was just confused. I wasn't put mad. Musty in a higher state of alert. What a fake. That's awesome. Man's playing out of his mind. And he began to play better and better and better against the growing threat. I I don't think I played better and better and better. Honestly, I think Sunless just like iced himself, like because he wasn't warm anymore. I wasn't necessarily playing better here. Broken Sunless Con. I'm getting <laughs> on this game. I have to mentally reset. I have to mentally reset. So I tried to watch puppy videos to improve my mood. <laughs>
It didn't work. It didn't help that I kept reading suggestions from the chat on how to beat Musty. I became so tilted I didn't look at chat and just said nothing for like 20 minutes while playing. On day seven, I broke down. I want to see this from his POV because so he said he had a mental hard. breakdown here. I'm too sucked into like a competitive person's nightmare, losing 65 games in a row. I just want to play in my own rank. Like I'm so tired of ones. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. He thought about forfeiting the whole day. Like I, I feel like I can't even. I've completely lost my mind. I'm not gonna lie. I've completely wow. lost my mind. I think I might have to forfeit this day. Like my my normal brain is good, but my broccoli brain is completely gone. Like, oh my I'm god! Completely broken. I can't play. He actually thought about forfeiting. It's a mental game, and uh, this game has broken me. Looking back, I think I actually played off just how bad I felt at that point. I looked over at the chat, and what I saw there changed my perception. I saw my community encouraging me and saying it was okay, and I also saw a group Aww. of people that really did want me to succeed. So at that moment, I decided to just be real and be myself. Rather than fake laughing at their jokes, I decided to just rip into them like I would a close friend. I decided to make fun of them and get all my frustration out on the chat. Hey, have, hey Sunless, have you tried scoring more goals than him? Instantly, the tone <laughs> was lighter. The uh. chat started reacting more. They actually liked my verbal abuse. After a few minutes of that, suddenly, I actually felt a lot better. It was like a release, just letting my viewers That's know wild. how stressed I was. You know, it's a really good thing I didn't forfeit that day. Because what happened next changed everything. Alright, I'm gonna skip this part of the video, y'all. Oh, nice shot. Oh, man. <laughs> See you again, the first goal, bro. I'm telling you. I still can't believe... Nice. This has never happened again. I went up... It was like game six. I went up by three goals. Yeah, I remember that. No, I was I was legitimately like really scared because it was the first day I, I was like, I didn't know like the routine or like how how this would really go. First of all, I didn't want to lose day one. That would just be atrocious for the video. I'm just not realizing how bad like my mic sounds. I don't know why. It sounds like bad on Discord. Yeah, and for my dignity. I saw myself go 3-0 down. I'm like, okay, I'm just never letting that happen again. That was a good power slide cut. Oh, That's no. actually a good oh, shot. Brother. I'm stuck. Oh, why are you scaring me so much? He, he was like outplaying me here for I'm a good stuck. minute. I remember this. You're actually so in my head, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, but I, I wasn't even scared. I wasn't even scared. Oh no. Until... Okay, he, he skipped it. But there was a certain no point where I got really scared. Oh my god. Dude, by the way, th this shot from my POV... Here, let me pull this up really quick. This shot from my POV looks so weird. I just want to point this out. I'm not, I'm not, like, giving excuses or anything. Okay, look from my POV here. Doesn't that look weird, bro? I thought it was gonna hit pinch against the ground. Does it not look like it's ground pinching? And then it goes, like, up. I got, that confused me. That was, that was crazy. Oh, I was so close to that, dude. That's annoying. That is so annoying. Let's keep watching. I see you do the death. I'm deafening. Let's say you need to deafen. That's crazy. Solid, solid, solid. Actually, I'm gonna score. And then here, I meant to flip. I was so nervous. I meant to flip, and then I Shit. double jumped, bro. I was so nervous. Then at this point, oh I kind of knew I lost. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna fake the kickoff. And he oh, just did with me. Then I knew it was away. over. Pump him. Yes! <laughs> no! Game 69? No way! <laughs> that seems so scripted. They did. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. That's wild, bro. Yes. Anything I'm like happy for him. My version of this video in game 69 is just straight depressing. This is like, it makes me happy to watch. You know what I mean? Like uh, how happy seven. he is and how hard he worked for we it. We had nothing to play for since I won the bet. So Musty proposed to me a new bet, a sort of double or nothing. I, I, I have a proposition for you though. If you beat me one more time, you get $10,000 and full access to my YouTube channel to upload whatever you want. You can shout yourself out. If I would win another game in the remaining I still don't know what he's going to do, by the way. But to Musty's channel he... for a week. However, <laughs> if I failed to get a second win, 
then I would get nothing. It's just one more game. I could pretend like this was a tough choice. And believe me, I tried to. I would like to think about this. Okay. I will have my answer tomorrow. But the reality is, I cared way more about the content from this event than the $10,000. And I also cared more about what I could post on Musty's channel than $10,000. But the thing that I cared about even more than all that was beating Musty. I had a taste <laughs> of it. I wanted more. Oh, this guy. So I took the deal. Day eight was beautiful. Day eight was fun. Oh. No, it wasn't, Sunless. It was horrible. Louise, man. Day eight was freedom. No, it was terrible. Getting that one win, I played with complete confidence and focus. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'd gone through absolute hell for seven days, and now it was my turn to inflict some emotional damage on Musty. This is a different man. A new and improved version of Sunless Khan. Oh my word. I've been stressed as hell the last five days. Now I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just doing it. The reality is I'd finally turned the tide in this mental battle. He really that had. He got so much better. Like in the early days, I, I didn't need to sweat. Now, if, if, if I'm not sweating, I lose. I'd gone through so much turmoil that now it felt like nothing could bring me down. I was unstoppable. No, no, no. But I still lost every single game. Day nine. No. I to be fair, on that day, I played really good. Like, he, at was one point he had a five goal lead, I think. Like, I, I could have lost like three times, like, very easily on a. Started day. out even stronger. Very, very and in easily. game 82, this happened. Oh, uh, this shot's actually crazy, by the way. No way he gets an angle here, right? I didn't even jump, because I didn't think he was in. <laughs> I love how he's using my footage here. I, I, I didn't think that ball was worth going for. I, I didn't think you'd get that angle, y'all. I was watching my stream, and I noticed I always acknowledge my mistakes every time. And I was noticing other people, when they're streaming, sometimes they won't even acknowledge their mistakes. They'll completely ignore it. I think that's a really good mindset to have. Because there's no point in, you don't have to acknowledge your mistakes. You don't have to make it. Ah, uh, big mistake by me. I hate myself for that. Dude. It's such a bad habit. Get off me. I hate this guy. Yes. Oh my God, Musty, you got to respect me a little bit. The low 50 didn't yeah, work. Yeah. Ah! Forgot about that. Spawn, 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 spawn. You son of a. Yes, it's He's so lucky. You're so lucky! Yes. Oh my god! Lucky spawn. Look at, look at the way he's playing, though, bro. He's playing so good. Number two! You know, sucking at, at Rocket League has kept me humble. Oh it's over God. now. If I get the three game 82 Musty, incident. I'm become unsufferable. I was almost in disbelief for the rest of the day. With the second win and both bets won, I could now just totally relax and think about what I could post on Musty's channel. Obviously, I lost the rest of the games that day, but it was fine because I had something special cooked up for the final day. <laughs> Entering the arena. Oh my hey, God. Has an astronomical number of YouTube subscribers. Hey, it's a top 128 RLCS oh, close qualifier God. contender at a hard stuck GC1. Look at the lights though that go with it. That's that's actually sick. Against a try hard trio from North Carolina. He stands six foot one, weighs 200 pounds, fighting out of the blue half. Look at the height and weight. That's wild. And 88 losses. He is Sunless. I'm not losing 10 in a row today. Nobody beats Sunless Khan 98 <laughs> times. Today I'm gonna deal the knockout blow. Three wins. I don't know if Musty can recover from this. Nice. Oh man, I should have warmed up instead of setting up my fog machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> right. Forfeiting this one. Man, it'd be a shame if I change uh, something. <laughs> the sure would be a shame. Would be a shame if I changed my car. Honestly, I just wanted to get a win in the Scarab. For a while, I've been worried about making this video. Not because it contains 10 days of footage consisting of me losing 97 times, but because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to articulate just how difficult this challenge was for me. To win this, I had to do the thing that I am the worst at That's over wild. and over and over again. I had to lose. I was forced to accept losing as part of learning as fast as possible or tilt myself out of the competition completely. I also want to thank Lethemir for giving me a coaching session one of the days. After going through this, I have never felt more prepared to face the mental challenges in this game and in life. The reality is everything I learned about myself and the personal growth I experienced is 10 times more valuable than the money, experience, or access to Musty's YouTube oh channel. Oh God, that I what, are you, what is he going to upload, bro? Him in a clown scarab on the last day, though? 
Well, that was priceless. That was humiliating. If I lose to a clown scarab, I'm gonna quit streaming. I'm not even kidding, man. Beating him in a clown scarab on the last day, though? Well, that was priceless. Does this mean I have to quit streaming? Do I just end this stream right now? That's wild. On day two, like, I was so cocky. Like, oh, there's, like, this, there's no way. But this guy actually got so much better. It was ridiculous, bro. Not only did I lose my life savings, but I lost my dignity. Oh, man. As always, I'm Sunless Khan. Thanks for watching. Wow. Gotta log off. Gotta gotta quit streaming, y'all. I gotta quit streaming for good. I'll see you guys later.